What's up, everybody? Welcome to your review slash discussion slash reacts for Firewatch. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scarpino. I agree. Flex that muscle. Look at that. Look at that. God, I love it. You look so good in this Heather Gray shirt. Thank you. I like the long sleeves. Keeps my uh, wrists warm. Over here, <laughs> the pride of Long Island, Colin Moriarty. It's good to be here with you today. Good to be here with you today. And over there, the pure one, Tim Geddes. Let's him host. Now, let's get right to the heart of the matter. We're about to talk about Firewatch. Mm -hmm. This is posting before Firewatch is released to the general public. Okay. We're doing a re our reacts, our discussion of it. Mm -hmm. So I want to do a spoiler-free portion right here in the front. That is a simple question. Do you recommend people play this game? And then why without a spoiler? Mm -hmm. So, Tim, do okay. you recommend people play this game and why or why not? Um, I do. Okay. Because despite its faults, it's short enough to give you a lot of good things. Okay. Colin. Um, yeah, I think you should play it. I, I, but I think that uh, you should go in with tempered expectations because it's, I don't think, a very good game. I just think it has some good ideas. Do you think it's a bad game? No. Okay. So it's somewhere in between good and bad. Yeah, I think it's. It, it, I, I think people should play it because of its unique setting. It's unique. Sure. Uh, you know, it's it's got a lot of unique qualities. Okay. My non spoilery answer to the question is that I had high expectations for Firewatch. It mm -hmm. did not meet them. Parts of it did. I recommend you play it because I think the most enjoyable part of Firewatch so far is all the conversations I've had with people afterwards. Mm -hmm. All the ones we've had individually talking about it. I talked to Mitch and Alexa about it. They told me things I missed. This, that, and the other. It reminds me a lot of a, a one of those books or a movie. That not it's an art house flick. You yeah, know like what I mean, indie film where you leave yeah. and you've take you've put yourself into it, so you take something different from mm -hmm. it. So you talk to the people and you yeah. cobble together what the overall. I can see that because even even playing it, I was like, I'm not necessarily loving my time right now. There was definitely moments, and sure. as it went on, it got better. But um, it, it was afterwards when I thought about it, I was like, huh, I liked that more than I than you thought you did. I that thought moment. that I did. Sure, sure, sure. It. That was definitely my morning after when I had beaten it and then the next morning went and hung out with Mitch and Alex and we talked about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Yeah, now this I'm getting even more out of it now. And then Nick. Uh, yes, I recommend people play it and I recommend they play it because it was it's one of those games that for me at least hit on an emotional note and it was actually, you know, uh, it, it, it was able to evoke emotion in me and I think that that's kind of the point of everything, right? Sure. Everything, anything that's considered an a, a art is supposed to evoke some sort of emotion in about oh I don't know five minutes and I was like wow I'm oh sure I'm really I'm invested in this yeah. I want to yeah. see where this goes um, and I don't think there was a, a moment where I was bored per se um, the game is certainly not without its flaws and we'll get into that in a second but um, I enjoyed it great so there you go if you haven't if the if Firewatch is still not available or you haven't played it that's all you need to know. We all say you should play it, discuss it, and you can come back and watch the rest of this video and compare and contrast in the comments with everybody else. But that was your chance. So you can stop watching right now. Mm -hmm. Or you can mute it. Just let us talk. Help our watch time on YouTube. Yeah. But now it's going to be spoilery. So for me, I, I think not... I, I went out of my way not to know anything about Firewatch. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They were on our GDC stream. We've seen the trailers and stuff, and I stopped there. I don't read the previews. IGN had the whole like month of first on it. Didn't go and watch any of that stuff on it, right? I wanted to stay away from it because I knew... Based on Sean Vanneman, the talent at Campo Santo, all this stuff that like, you know, they did Walking Dead or, you know, Sean did Walking Dead and obviously people that have been on a million other games are there that have done awesome stuff that I really, really like stayed away from it. And I start this game. I'm playing through that prologue. I'm making choices. It's telling me all this stuff about my wife. I'm living. The, I was like, holy fucking shit. Up through like day two. Mm -hmm. I was like. I can't believe that I, I even I knew I had high expectations. I'm like, this game is delivering on them through like day two. I was like, I can't believe how much I'm enjoying this. I don't know what's mm -hmm. going to happen. It gave me those uh, gone home vibes of being a game and not even being sure what the game was. I remember when uh, uh, Delilah tells you to go find the campers, find those two girls who mm -hmm. it looks like trash your, you know, your house or whatever. Right. right? And, and she's like, go there and scare the shit. And I'm like, beat their faces. And she's like, no, 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 just scare them, scare them. And I thought. I'm going to scare them, but I'm actually going to kill one of them. And then I'm mm. going to, it's going to be this whole thing of like covering up what's happening. Right, 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 right. Cause I just had no real idea what the game was going to yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. And so like, I loved that thing, but then as we got onto it, I felt like it had, it, it went into like man of steel territory where I expected the game to be up here and or the product to be up here. Right. And it ended up being lower than that. But initially I thought it was even lower than that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where I played it and I'm like, I get to the end. I'm like, Oh, okay. Like it was this one thing and it was this one guy and that's how it is and stuff. And I was like, I want. I was expecting more out of it, but then talking to people, talking to you guys, mm -hmm. like 
I love the idea of it's one of those games you finish and then over a cup of coffee talk to somebody about. Yeah, when the next day when you and I, when we finally got Tim out of the room because he hadn't played it yet. You piece of shit. I played um, it last night. No, I know you played it now, but, but two days ago you had not played it. And yeah. I was like, we, we all desperately wanted to talk about it. And you were like... You did. You were like, stop talking. And I was like, Tim, just get up and Bro. go because we have to talk about this. Um, but your experience with uh, the dynamic between the two main characters was completely different than mine. Yeah. So and, and that that speaks, I think, a lot to the strengths of the game when, you know, you I actually had an emotional connection to Delilah. Um, I wanted my character. I wanted myself to kind of because she was a flawed character just like me. And yeah. I saw a lot of like the things that I was that my character was going through in her. I wanted them to sort of get together and and. And live happily ever after in the end. Yeah. You know, two flawed people. And she was a bit codependent. You know, she had she had her hang ups and you have your hang ups and you discover this throughout the dialogue trees if you want to, which I didn't even realize like I didn't realize you could be an asshole to her and like not have any relationship with her at all. Yeah, talking to Mitch, you know, who did, he did a whole thing with Campo Santo, a spoiler cast, and I'm sure he's going up on IGN this week, right? Was talking about the fact that yeah, like it's there's only seven times you have to talk to her. That's the rest crazy. of it you can mm. just ignore and not have any. That's crazy. And you can be so then she's totally responding to you as if you are an asshole yeah, who doesn't right. even respond. There was a lot to her of times I accidentally didn't respond to her. Yeah, you, and, it goes fast. Yeah, and then yeah, because the, the, and I thought this was really interesting. The bar I've noticed sometimes it doesn't even need to hit the end. Before she just automatically responds like, oh, fine, I guess you're not talking oh, really? to me, which I thought was a cool little thing where yeah. it's like it keeps you on your toes of like, I thought I had a little bit longer. Like I was looking at the mm -hmm. map. I'm like, I'll get back to her. And then she interrupts. I'm like, oh, shit, sorry. Yeah. It, no, that was the, all of a sudden it felt like a real conversation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. 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 And that, that was the thing. Yeah. You're talking about you have this emotional connection to Lila and you get to the end. You don't even get to see her. And that you thought that was like, right. oh, what the hell or whatever. For me, it was like I always read into our relationship was one of convenience. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I was hoping we could hook up or whatever like i'm you know out there trying to forget my wife and uh, alzheimer's and dementia and all this right. other stuff right but like for me there's that moment where you know you i forget it's like day 70 whatever it is right where you come to at the desk or whatever you take control at the desk or whatever and you mm -hmm. stand up and your wedding rings there right and i made a point to pick it up and put it back on like i'm like yeah. no, no 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 i'm not i'm not done i'm not disconnected from jewels yet mm -hmm. like i'm not mm -hmm. in love with delilah but i wanted to see how that relation suss that relationship out you know what i mean yeah i mean it was it's it's hard because inevitably the 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 game or the story of the game is a tragedy right like no matter what that the main character is is going to have to suffer through or well, not suffer through the rest of his life but he's gonna have to deal with that for the sure. rest of his life right his wife is gone but she's still living exactly and so mm. that is a conflict that is really from a writing perspective kind of an interesting thing to play with because your character we're, we're, we're told sort of in classic Hollywood that like the guy always gets the girl at the end, right? They always beat the villain, they get the girl at the end, and everything's happily ever after. But this is a story that even if they had any outcome of it is still going to be a little bit tragic and a little bit depressing because whether he had chosen to ostracize his wife and let her live the rest of her life in Australia and go with Delilah or go to her, it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. He's going to be trapped in this sort of his own sort of prison for the rest of his life dealing with this issue. I like that a lot. Um, I liked that the from the first moments of the game, like all the, the dialogue trees, like going through them from them meeting up to them yeah. being married and all that stuff. Like, I love that. That it reminded me of up the first yeah, yeah, 100%, years, not like, 100 damn, they fucking got you. Here's mm -hmm. where they're at with the relationship, and this is like such a thing. But I liked that it, I quickly realized that the the dialogue choices didn't mean anything. Yeah, like even I was asking you because yeah. like you guys have all talked about it. You're like, yeah, it doesn't do anything. And that's what I thought. Like even off through those first things, I was like, no matter what I choose, you're just getting a different variation on the same story. And I like I liked that. I liked that it there. It's not you know you, the choices you're making change if you Dress, see her at the, the end, end or yeah, yeah. not or whatever it, it is just kind of like it's the story's going and what you're saying is just you know you can either be a little funnier or a little more scared mm -hmm. of the situation or this or that but like that's just more reacting to the situation the situation keeps on rolling sure you know? it's it's what i it's the, very much what i was talking about when i talk about walking dead in season one in particular when people are like well the, you know the choices are all bullshit because the end the is the end and the way I was talking about it, right, is that I always talk about Walking Dead and all these games where you make these choices, right, as we're all given the same story. We're all given the same blank coloring book page, but it's up to us how we shade it in. That makes it our own, right? Yeah. For me, like early on, like, you know, I think if, you, if I was going to talk to you about what I think the canonical Henry is, right, I think he's uh, he looks like Wreck-It Ralph. And he's blue collar and he's maybe got an alcohol problem, da 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 da, right? But I didn't shade mine that way, right? Like I meet her at the bar and I'm drunk and we split the hamburger and we fall in love. But from there, I'm making what I feel are the adult choices. So, like, 
when we get there, I'm very much picturing Henry is this bulky guy, but like there's that, you know, I I don't know how it was for you when the mugger steps up to you in the prologue, right? And this is all in text, by the way, if you're if you're just spoiling the game for yourself. When the mugger steps up, right? I beat the shit out of him, and then I sit there on the curb and cry myself before cry, cry myself to whatever I like, devastation before the cops even get there, right? And for me, that was very telling of this man similar to me, right? Who's big but and but expresses anger like that, but then you know, cry, I get cry when I get angry, right? When I'm mad, I cry. And so like that's where I put that. So by the time I get to being in Firewatch on the job or whatever, I'm picturing very much Henry being a Wreck It Ralph kind of guy, but with the temperament of Harry Crane from Mad Men, because that's the voice, right? Mm. So he is this bigger dude, but he's not outrageous. He's not this, he's not that. And that's stemmed from my choices of how I interpreted based on that part. But then you're talking to people of like, you know, I, I made the choice of when she's sick, I put her in a home, right? I'm not equipped to deal with this. That's, I feel the right. adult choice. Whereas there is the other choice of, no, no, I'll take care of her, mm -hmm. which ends with you getting a DUI, which ends up in the, like that fits the, I'm blue collar fuck up Henry and mm -hmm. the, the guy who's going to rumble in the streets kind of thing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. No, I like that. And I think, and I think from that perspective, like it, it does help invest you or vest you in the story a little bit. Um, because you do have choices and your interaction with this person does change based on those. Um, but that was a slight disappointment of mine going into sort of the third act of the story. I, th I feel like the overall, like I liked the game. I liked the first two thirds of the game, sure. but inevitably I think it suffered a little bit from the same thing that most kind of thriller esque psychological thriller sure. movies suffer from, which is like inevitably the payoff is How not going to be together? as it's not going to be as fun as the setup, and that's yeah. just the way it goes, right? Like there is a handful of movies I can think that handled it very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, and this one, I think that I was that was my biggest point of of, uh, of disappointment because I had liked the game so much up until that point, which is why I recommend that people play it because there were those moments like for me, this game played like a movie, which is like my perfect experience where I'm like, I know I'm going to be here for four hours, maybe maybe five if I screw around and explore a Get little lost. bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's given me a good story. There's a the acting I thought was great. Yeah, I thought the voice yeah. acting was phenomenal. Um, I actually ruined it when I realized who the guy was. I was like, fuck, it's the guy from Mad Men because I can't stand <laughs> that because I was so immersed in the character that I'm like, this guy's doing a great job. It's the same problem I have with Pixar films when yeah. I, I, I'm like, oh shit, it's Amy Poehler. Mm -hmm. I just see Amy Poehler and I, I get taken out of the movie a little bit. It's so like halfway, about an hour into the game, my wife's like, is that the guy from Mad Men? I'm like, damn it, damn it, yeah. damn it. Why Jeez. did you tell me that? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, at, at first I was like, I kind of imagined like, uh, uh, for some reason I was like, is that Craig T. Nelson? But it was not Craig That'd T. Nelson. Awesome. Coach Would have been an amazing it? coach. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I liked all that, but that was it was it was slightly disappointing that kind of going in toward to the third act like. Nothing I did really mattered um, on a high level, you know, on the minutia, what you're talking about. Yes, it did. It, it got me more emotionally involved in the story and it actually made me kind of sad at the end when I didn't get to see her. Sure. Um, but I did. I was sort of hoping for I was expecting that it was going to be more like, a, a you know, more of an until dawn sort of uh, experience where mm. you're like, well, something I'm going to do is going to lead me to either catching this bad guy or letting him go. And if I let him go, maybe I won't get to see Delilah. So I have to catch I him. Gotcha, I and gotcha. then at the very end, when you discover, you know, sort of the body, you're like, wait, what was this about? And wait, it's just, it's this, this small, it reminded me of a movie that I loved all the way up until the very, very last part of it, which was strange days. I don't know if you guys ever saw that movie. I never saw strange days. It's a, it's an old movie with Ray Fiennes and Tom Sizemore. It was about like, it, it, the whole premise was that it was sort of a dystopian future and at the end of it he was thinking that there was this big government conspiracy against him that he had like no like he there's no way he was going to overcome and then it turns out it's just one guy that's messing with him the entire gotcha. time and you're like well that's kind of not as grand as i wanted this to be i thought i was caught up in this big thing and all and then it's just it comes down to this very basic human kind of one-on-one -on -one thing that never really came to a head yeah i see i kind of i kind of like that though because you know we kind of went into it and because we play video games and because we watch movies and because we you know consume all this media we have our preconceived ideas of what this is going to be and what the story is going to be and you're in this forest something scary is going to happen there's a you see a figure at some point it's like yeah. oh crap and then there's these teenage girls and then all of a sudden they're missing and someone else is missing and all this yeah you get in your own head and you yeah. really start to create this story of like what's going to happen you start thinking what is the end like am i gonna like what is happening is it is there this mega corporation behind it because they kind of eventually imply there's this research facility and there's all this stuff yeah it was like, like kind of loss-esque right where you're right, like what right, is right, going, going on, on? And there's I, all I this really, technology i really beeping. liked that it just kept kept giving me those moments of like shit what's happening there's the night you wake up and your wife's talking to you and it's right. like what the fuck like what is going on there's the moment when um delilah 
like it says, hold on a second. You hear having a call with someone yep, else yep, 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 and it's yep. like, oh, he has no idea. And you're like, what the fuck do I not have an idea about? Are you talking about yeah, me? Right. And you just, you get in your own head and like, it's, I knew at no point there was going to be a jump scare. But that made me scared that at any point there could have been a jump scare. Right. And for me, the, there was kind of one. one. There's, a, there's one. No, nah, not really. It wasn't yeah. so much. But, but I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, I Which one are you citing? I'm talking the, about when you're at, when you're no, not that. I'm no. talking about when you're in the freaking oh, the when lake you get punched and you just walk oh. by a rock and you get fucking knocked yeah. out. That, I was like, God damn it. Yeah. Should hit him with a fishing pole. I like that the game kept giving me those moments throughout the entire thing. And it wasn't just in the beginning or just at the end. Like it was a consistent experience. Um I was telling Nick this my biggest, you know, critique of the game is that I was bored as hell anytime someone wasn't talking to me or there wasn't music playing. Like whenever mm. there was music. I felt like I was going the right way. It was driving towards something. And whenever she started talking to me, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm interested in the story. And like, this means I'm doing the right thing. Otherwise, when it was just like using the map was so fresh for me from a mechanical level. Like I didn't like the controls, having to use the D pad to activate the map and put it down. And then you couldn't run if you had the map. Sure. Up. There's just certain things that I'm like, man, like this is really taking me out of this. And uh, I didn't like how the map would start here and you have to like bring the camera up yeah. and I get that they want to stop you so you like can stop and look at the map but it just until you got the weird beeping like tracking PKE device meter. whatever yeah. thing that told yeah. you like, northwest yeah, south yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. at all times you could run with that I was just like I I don't like traversing this area it's beautiful and it's you know I loved how realized the whole world was and the colors and I loved how the time of day made an area look horrifying or beautiful yeah, right yeah. and all that stuff was so cool but I just didn't like the traversal of having to look at the map, having to figure out, wait, am I going the right way? I can't move with the map. Sure. Having to stop. And then the worst thing, and this is, this is such a stupid little gripe, but like it bothered me for the four hours I played this game. Every little rock stopped me from moving. Like I'd have to like, all right, I guess I need to stop, walk around this thing. Or like, how come I can walk through this bush, but I can't walk through this bush. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just felt like it, the game got in my way. So much more than I'd like it to. I went back and forth with the map where I started the game and I'm playing the map and I had all the same concerns you did. Of, or not concerns, but I guess, you know, problems, right? Gripes. And I'm doing it. I'm like, oh, well, I'm like, this is a video game. Why isn't it d doing the dotted line or why isn't it doing like, you know, this? And I'm like, well, I guess because they want me to be in this guy's shoes. And this, if I was lost in the fucking woods, this is how it would go. And yeah. I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. And then you jump ahead an hour and I'm, yeah, I am turned around and I don't know where to go. I'm like, fucking goddamn. But I'm like, again, I think it was on purpose to an extent because they could have easily it's, it's dropped trying to something. make it like camping and i yeah, get yeah. that i don't like camping you know what i mean and <laughs> yeah. I, my thing is i'm playing this game for for the story yeah, yeah, not yeah. for the camping experience sure. that's, and I, I, that's really my my biggest thing with it and like it's funny like talking about how the payoff at the end wasn't worth it and you talking about how it's the discussions after like to me that is the payoff now and now i'm having this discussion is making me realize i like this game a lot yeah, yeah. like i really do yeah, I mean, I, I also, I, I'm waiting for Colin because whenever it's Colin stays quiet, I'm just listening. It's yeah. like that. You remember that, that episode of uh, The Simpsons where he's like, "Wait, that guy hasn't done anything yet." Yeah, you know he's gonna do you something, something cool. cool. And he goes inside and think the guy flies. Forgiveness, him. please. <laughs> he bows and after getting thrown through the window, awesome. So this I know Colin's great. about to say something amazing, but um, but I that see that's the thing that that I I really liked about this game was that I expected it to be. Like I expected to be like, oh, at some point I'm gonna have to fucking outrun a fire. At some point someone's gonna like I have to climb something in quick time events. And it wasn't. It literally was like, you're in this world, slow down, and you're walking around sure. and it's a slow build of tension, which you very seldom see in games these days. Like, I really liked that. I really got sucked in. And I actually, when I was done, I'm like, ah. Oh, I want more. I want to go back and play that again, but it doesn't really give you a reason to. See, then that was the thing, yeah. Like if, you know, when we were talking about it and we were, like, we were finishing up, right? And like you and I were talking about it, and you're like, I don't understand. So, what was all what, he had all this technology, he set up this fenced in area, which is the same thing I said to Mitch and Alex the next day. Right. And they're like, No, on our second or third playthrough, you find that it's actually a college experiment about deer. And because if you go this way off the beaten path, you find, uh, which I was never encouraged to go off the beaten path, of right. course, in this game, you go off the beaten path. I got lost and ended up there a lot. You, that found, was my thing. you found a dead deer and you found the tracking device on his neck, and you're like, Oh, and then, you know, you go to uh, Ned, uh, Ned, right? That's what yeah. I'm Ned's hideout or whatever. And you find the hit where he was typing up these fake reports to throw you off the scent, and he's putting with the real reports. And you're like, oh, I guess, but like that never got driven home in the main. Like yeah. it, it, it is what you're saying, where it's a story based game that I felt like I only was ever off the map when I was screwing up or whatever, and I fell through the world once doing it because like you're totally not designed to do that. Oh, so sorry. Going back to what I was saying earlier about the the jump scares in any moment, like thinking something was going to happen. Uh, the while the game is beautiful. Man, the pop ups and just like the random, like the the world not loading correctly. Oh yeah, and stuff. it runs bad on PS4. It, we it, all play it on PS4. 
it ran really badly and there was multiple times that scared the living shit out of me <laughs> because all of a sudden a fucking tree pops up and yeah, it looked yeah. like a, a dude and yeah. like which made it even scarier. I, I mean, I kind of liked it, but it was like it, it was bad because it was just like it, it kept building tension yeah, yeah, and then yeah. just like making me that like, shit my pants. The most right. tense place I've talked to Nick about this. The most tense moments for me were every time you climbed up the face of a rock. I always put he mm. puts this thing, mm-hmm. and he pulls him up, and I'm like, here comes the man bat moment. Like it's gonna be <laughs> Ned right. screaming at me or something, and it never happened. Yeah, I think uh, I mean that's what I'm talking about when I say like the 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 sort of third act just was a little it was a little muddled for me. Like I didn't understand sort of the the antagonists. Uh, motives. Yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah. really get what was going on. I know. I guess his son had either died. You were not really sure if it's an accident or if he had killed him. I his, think it was an accident. I, took, I read into an accident. He read that, and then the photos at the end, like they look like father and son moments together, where um, they weren't like against each other. Yeah. So, but I, I, I needed just. I kind of was left yearning for a little bit more of a resolution on that front. I understand. Um. Yeah. But now it's time. I want. I want the hurricane. I don't know what it's going to be. It was a hurricane. I just. I. I. To me, it's just. I don't think the game understood what it was and like what makes it interesting mm-hmm. and so like what i realized in the game is like nothing actually matters like there's no reason that any of this happens at all like like what is the point of the prologue what is the point of it like what what is the point of you being a man running away from his wife there's no reason like there's like why is that an important setup you know so like you're invested i guess i guess but why like like why would that be the way i got invested in it like w- in other words like it just seems like it made it's like a series of arbitrary things that are just put together into a game and and then I, I was left at the end. I'm like, okay, so like, the f- like, what did I just really do? You know, like, well, and, that, and that was that was the thing that was really confusing to me. I was like, okay, so I make I really like the way the game began and making these choices and learning about this man or whatever. And the day one and day two, I think, were really fun and cool because I'm like, okay, it's 1989, great time to set something. We're in Wyoming. It's a very unusual place to set something. Um, you don't you don't play. There's no game like this. Like I'm like right. okay. Like we're like we're we're running away from our 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 wife who's who's got Alzheimer's and and dementia and she's young and it's sad and I'm troubled by it. And I just want to get away from her and and in this day of no internet and this day of no um, cell phones. Yeah, cell phones. Like although like that's the other thing too is like this could have been set in like today. Like so I like that was another problem I had where I'm like why was the setting 1989? Just like, so that you can get that awesome teens listening to 80s music. Sure. Yeah. That was. I did take their radio and fucking take just took it with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, of course you did. Yeah. And uh, but the, the so it starts at like a high point with like the, the prologue and I really enjoyed it. I'm like, OK, I like where this is going. And then you, you find yourself at, at the watchtower and day one and day two. And I'm like, OK, like it's really peaking. I'm like, this is great. This is really cool. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the payoff's going to be, but I'm 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 estranged from my wife. Um this woman's talking over a radio. I don't really know who the fuck that is. I just am in the middle of nowhere. I'm surrounded by these like books and I'm like exploring my little nook and, Mm -hmm. and then it just doesn't go anywhere. Like, and and it ends up being about a man and his dead son. And like, why do I give, I I was like, at the end of the I'm like, I don't give a fuck about any of this. I'm like, I don't understand like why this was, Mm -hmm. this was the payoff. All I cared about was Henry and, and and Delilah. That was it. And like that, there's no payoff with them at all. There's no reason why it takes place in 1989. There's no reason why your uh, your wife has nothing to do with anything that happens in the story. Like the, you know, I, so to me, I was like, this is in, almost incoherent. Like, See, that, that's I, the way I walked away from the story. I'm like, this doesn't actually make any sense at all. I and, think that all the stuff being like just the random things, I think that they kind of explained that at the end of just like, it, it is just random things. It's not like there's this whole thing that's making all this stuff happen. It's just, these are random things, but he was tripping the fuck out. And but that one point when he freaks out and is thinking he has Alzheimer's and he's going crazy. Yeah, did you crazy. pick that? Did you pick that as your option when you're like, is this even real? Is this Probably. happening? I think that's I what I did that. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, I, but I think that to me, it's like I I like that the whole time he's quest. Like I think that the beginning is important because it is ma- it sets the tone for the whole thing of him being really sad and depressed. But in addition to that, not understanding what the hell's going on with all of this, you know? Yeah, I guess I just having played games similar walking simulator games for lack of a better term. I don't use that, you know, just disparagingly like gone home. There's a point to it like the, the, and, and I'm not saying that a game has to have necessarily a point or the point has to resonate with me. That's not true. It's just to say like a similar kind of game has a it, it brings you on a story and you understand where why it began the way it began and mm-hmm. where it brought you and why it ended the way it ended like it made sense and with with firewatch i was just like it's not this really makes any sense like i don't care about like the game never made me care about that the, that father and son the game the game made me care about delilah and henry and then it didn't do anything with it and that really actually left a, a bad taste in my mouth i'm like maybe that was the intent to be like dangling this other thing in front of you and it ends up being useless and worthless, and it's about this other thing. And I'm like, but I don't care about the other thing. I, I hear care, you on I that. care about 
like why like why can't these two be together why can't they be mm-hmm. together or all these kinds of things like isn't isn't that the obvious setup and payoff of the, of the of the game so i was just i was i don't think it's a bad game i just don't think it's a very good game either because i was just like apart from its technical limitations the game stutters constantly doesn't run well we talked about that kind of stuff like it was that definitely immersion breaking um how badly it runs on ps4 i couldn't believe how badly it ran actually um and the game even froze on me and like I had a problem loading it back and making it trigger the next thing I needed to do. I thought like I broke my save and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it really took me like a long time. Like so like there's a lot of like technical issues that I think are somewhat inexcusable of a game of that scope, which is not big. Um, but the other thing about it is just I was I was disappointed. I didn't know what the game was going to be about. I just mm-hmm. knew I was excited. about. It. I've been excited about the game since the first time I saw footage. Of it. I remember we were I think PSX last yeah, year. The trailer. And like it's just a guy running through the woods, and I'm like, this looks fu-. like I'm like this is fucking cool. I don't know what yeah. this is. I have no idea what the fuck it's about, and I'm just gonna leave it alone. And um, I don't know. I just think that none of it really made any sense, and there was nothing in my mind in there that meant anything. And that was mm-hmm. that was so. You can give me a game that doesn't mean anything. That's your own artistic, you know, choice to do that. Maybe that's what the game's about for some people. But to me, it's like. I don't care about this man and this son. And I'm, I don't I, care about that. Like, why is there a research station? And why am I these kids that then they, their shit gets ransacked? And then they think that I'm like, what the fuck is even going on? Like, why does any of this? I don't care. I care about these two people. And then, you know, and then they just cut you off from it. You know? And yeah. I was like, that's so disappointing. Like, I half of me thought I, you were going to meet Delilah and like something was going to happen. And you, she would be the only character model you see in the game. Whatever. Although you do see another character model. You see two, actually. But the other thing is that you know, the man in the distance who ends up being the, the man that you you find out is responsible for all the shit or whatever. And then mm-hmm. you see the helicopter pilot at the end. You see, you see the, the girls too. But that's just oh, the girls. Yeah, that's so as well. But it's, it's to me, it's, They're naked. it's, uh, I know. I just thought the payoff was, was kind of lame. And, um, How I'm not you... saying, I'm not saying th- I, I'm disappointed. I played it because I'm glad I played it and people should play it and make their own decisions. And clearly, I mean, based on the consensus, because Kevin, I think feels the same way you guys do. I'm like, I'm totally outnumbered. I'm not trying Kevin, to... you like it? I loved it. Yeah, loved Full it. Kevin loved it. it. Full yeah. on loved it. No, I don't think I, I, I'm with you, and I think that's. But I, I the only thing I, I disagree, I, I'm with you 100 percent on uh, Ned and Brian. Right when she first brings them up, I'm like, who cares? All right, great, like, whatever. And then okay. she, like they pop up a few more times, like, oh, okay. And then when we got to the body of Brian, and I was leaving the cave, and I call, I'm like, please give me an option not to tell her because I don't give a shit about these people to the point that I don't even want to tell her because I know it's gonna make it weird now. And that's and no, there wasn't. I have to tell her something. You know what I mean? But I. The whole thing in the beginning, I think, I, you, you're saying it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? For me, it matters in the way that it sets the the tone or the story of who Henry is to you. You know what I mean? And that's for me, then it goes back to that decision to pick back up the wedding band to where Delilah was a distraction for me. You know what I mean? And granted, at the end, I still made the choice of she's like, you have to, you know, you should go see Jules. And I'm like, no, that's over with. You know what I mean? I'm not going to Australia. Like, I'm done with it. I'm moving on with my life. And I did do the whole thing of like, maybe you could come to Colorado with me. But that was still just like to hook up so we could see each other kind of thing. You know what I mean? And so I guess that's my Henry is still this wandering mess. And I guess that's still to your point that there's no point. But I mean, I think that this discussion and what we're telling everybody to play it and have your own discussion about it is maybe the point of it. And I don't know if that's a cop out answer for Campo Santo and Sean will be through eventually to express it. Yeah, for himself. I, mean, I think just relationships are hard. Relationships are complicated. Yeah. And like, that's the story. It's the story of a relationship and dealing with when a relationship goes bad, not because you guys aren't connecting, but because of, you know, someone and you brought this up earlier when your wife doesn't die, but is gone. Yeah. Right. What do you do? You know, and that's complicated. That's really a lot. It's heavy. It's heavy to think about. And yeah. when there's this other woman that is just a distraction, it's not like they were in love, but you definitely get a connection with her over time. Mm-hmm. Is it friendship? Is it not? Like, what is it? And that's just stuff that you face every day, you know, like, yeah. and espe- I can't even imagine being in that situation Yeah. and the, where every single person I meet, it's like, it, instead of it just being the, you know, what is this other person to me question? It's also like, who the fuck am I? Like, what can, what are my options to even do anything here? Yeah. All right. And it definitely made me think about all that shit. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, and it go, it, you know, it's back to my Henry thing of like, you know, she, you know, Jules is a professor. Jules has a career. Jules has all this in line. Whereas Henry is this guy who meets her in a bar and is, you know, blue mm-hmm. collar and da da da. And he finds this one ad and he's still this leaf in the wind kind of thing right yeah. now, wherever life's going to take him. But he doesn't have an answer for what the fuck he's going to do, which is super sad. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think one of the strengths of the actual story was that at no point did I think that the relationship was actually going to work with Delilah. Like, I was like, this is two, these are two very flawed people sure. who are forced together because of these uh, outside circumstances that have basically pushed them 
like to run away from their lives. And now they found each other and, you know, it's no wonder that they're finding reasons not to be together as well. And that makes sense. And that resonated. And I was like, that's a, that's really strong. I thought everything with the, the sort of the, the B story arc, like the story arc with you and Delilah was good. It's just, I wanted the A, the, the A plot, like the actual main plot sure. to back that up a little bit more. Sure. I'm with um, you. And then like, that's, and it just kind of was like, yeah, like there, you know? for the whole thing, like the end of like when you get to Ned's little hovel or whatever, and you right. see all the papers and where he's been living, I was like, oh, this is cool. And but like you're listening to this tape where he's just like, well, Henry, we had a good standoff for you're 76 like, days. I'm yeah. like, what? Like, what are we talking about? Didn't you, you just me. try to lock me in a cave? Yeah, but you then you kill just, me <laughs> again. Yeah, I mean, you guys, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is like, what? What? How could it be? I just don't understand how the game can be good with that payoff. That's that's like that's all I'm yeah. saying. Is like that's yeah. the. That at the end, like when you're running away towards the hell, like towards the safety or whatever, and you're, you talk to Delilah and she leaves before you, I'm like, that's a fucking cop out and that pisses me the fuck off because now I know that we're never going to see her. Yeah, we're not going to see and her. And so like at that point with 10 minutes left to go in the game, I'm like, I just wanted to see game the fucking end. Like, I told her I, I, wait. I, I was like, I'm like, I'm done. I don't, I, but it probably, I'm sure it's not going to like. No, it didn't. Well, I, but I thought I had a shot at it when I said, wait. And she's like, okay. And then I get there and then I get that. I thought one of the strongest conversations between them where I get there and she's like, and I'm, and I'm she, she calls and I'm like, I'm angry. Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, you know, don't you under- like, how, how how quickly did you want to get away from your wife's situation? That's where I'm at right now. And it's like, fuck, I understand that. But I still fucking am mad at you for leaving. Yeah, I said I was disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. not angry. I'm disappointed. I, I, that's they literally had that line. I just uh, yeah, to me, it's just it, it's it's I think the you know, on, on a mechanical level, on a game level, I think that the mechanics made sense. I think that. Um, it was fun to explore this place and to like kind of get to know it, like the going through the meadow to the sure, lake sure. around to this area, and like you just kind of get to know the space. The weird ass wagon wheel Indian yeah, thing. Yeah, but like, the, the pacing is the, the other thing is that the pacing just as a game, the pacing's bad. And oh my god, I disagree entirely like, because it's all front loaded and then it's all back loaded, and so like there's no it's like day one, day two, day 77, day 78, day 79, and I'm like, okay. Like there's like little flashes in between where it's like day eight you're fishing or something or day right, nine right. like you're enjoying flirting your and drawing and watching the, the sun and I'm like I'm like nothing like I'm like why why does all of the game take place mm. in these first two days and then not till the end I'm like I thought that that was that to me was strange I'm like string it out a little bit like like mm-hmm. maybe you should have started on day six and then you go to day you know like you're just settling in then something weird happens and then blah 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 like I was just like I don't understand I just it just did not resonate with me from a writing standpoint. And mm-hmm. I, I was surprised by that considering who was responsible for it. And that was the, that was, um, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm clearly probably gonna be in the minority on this, but it's just, I don't think it's a bad game. I just, there's like fundamentally sound ideas there. I like the idea of being in this place, this wilderness by yourself and not seeing anything or anyone mm-hmm. and, and exploring and figuring things out and running away from something, which is what you're doing. But it, none of it sunk up together. None of it was congruent. Like it, these power, like it really, really the story wouldn't have changed at all, at all. If Henry was uh, fired from his job and went to to mm-hmm. you know to like nothing would have See, really changed about it except for the fact that like he didn't maybe he had more of a reason or less of a reason to be with Delilah but otherwise I don't see how that really affected the payoff with the boy and the man you know like yeah like, See, I don't I mean, think but I don't think that's the payoff I yeah, think, I think that's the payoff is the, Delilah at yeah the end, like how you like, handle that and what all it looks that like stuff that. to me is just the and I, I, what I liked about the plot is that there was all these things that were just like false scares or just like or false things where you're like, oh, this is what's happening. Oh, no, this is what's happening. And at the end, it, it, they all make sense. All these random little things like the the teens and them being lost. Oh, no, they're found. They just got drunk, whatever. That makes sense. The whole research thing, that makes sense. The the situation of the story of the boy, what happened to him? Why is this man missing? Oh, that all makes sense. You know, and like what you were saying about that, the, the cassette playing and well, it's been enough. That just shows the fucking mental state that that guy's in. Like he's fucked up. Like sure. He's living in the goddamn woods. Sure. Because he doesn't know what to do because he. I'm with you. It's just an easy weird out. Somehow. My thing is, I think the A plot is you and Delilah. And I think the B plot is these kids, at least. And maybe it's just in terms of my importance, mm-hmm. right? And to your statement of like, it wouldn't matter if he just got fired from his job and that's why I took it. I think it does in the fact that. For me and my A plot with Delilah is like, how do you handle that situation knowing that your wife isn't gone or is gone but not dead kind of thing? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. how do you wrestle with that emotions? And so, yeah, you could you could pick that game up and not pay attention to that and never tell Delilah about her jewels or this, that, the other, and then handle it as a freewheeling dude. And then it is, yeah, just like, mm, whatever. Yeah, see, I'll agree with that. And, you know, if, I, I mean, I see both, that, both both points, like from a semantic argument, like or, or just from a pure, like taking yourself out of the emotion argument, I wanted a stronger payoff. I wanted that to be 
Like originally, I'm like, is this like gonna be like lost? Where like she's not even a real person, or like, yeah, you know, she like when I get there, it's you get gonna there be and a it's like computer this or something ramshackled, yeah, yeah it's not or even like a real she's thing. been yeah. dead for years. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Um, Brian's there, he's like, hello, and you're like what? <laughs> he's like, eh, I've been dead for twenty years. Um, no, but Colin, to answer your question, like one of the reasons why, despite all that. And, you know, despite the fact that I, I think that, that could have been stronger, the game still left me with something. The, the game still kind of I finished it and I was like, huh. And I was like, it had an emotional impact on me. Mm -hmm. It made me think it made me stop for a second. And it did that wonderful thing that doesn't happen all that often where your brain just can't resolve something where you're like, shit, there's no answer for this. And that's that is life. That's most things that happen. There is no right or wrong there's just i guess we're gonna have to keep moving forward and pick a direction and it may or may not i mean it's not going to be the same it's not going to be good that's just the way it's going to go you know i i i i, I, stopped, I ended the game and it's one of those things where i have that, that, that cool picture thing at the end and i'm like mine kind of played out like a psycho's uh diary a little bit but because i also thought i was i thought like you know, i was like okay this camera is going to be a hugely important thing at the end and like the cops are going to try yeah. to arrest me it starts as like oh sure beauty scenery and right. then it went, when i found the body i was like i'm not going down yeah, for this. <laughs> like, yeah i was like yeah it was like a fucking law and order episode after that jump, jump. um but you know i think that's why the game's worth playing from my perspective is despite its flaws it's still it's still uh managed to get me it's still it's still took a little bit of me away with it and made me think of like how I'm going to, how I'm going to fill that void. And I liked that. I liked that a lot. And I love that when an indie film can do it to me. Sure. And I love it when a game can do that to me. And I think it was worth the four hours. Yeah. I wish that I opened this video a little stronger than I did. I liked it more than I, I let on. And no, I think that's the whole conversation. Like that's the thing is like, I don't know. I still don't know how much I like it. You know what I mean? Like I recommend people play it. Cause again, like here's the, what I keep coming back to is the fact that, We've all played a lot of games, the same games, and I don't think we've had a discussion like this about any of them. Mm. You know what I mean? We'll talk about Metal Gear here, that, that or the other, right, or Axiom Verge or something, but it's not like we're sitting here talking about, well, this is what I did, and this is how, and my motivations, right. and that, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's There's something to this. I just yeah. don't know. It's, I mean, it's a story. That's the thing. It's yeah. like there's, we're talking about the story. All the gameplay, I think we all agree about the gameplay of it being right. either this or that, but like the story is the thing where we have different opinions about, and I sure. think that's cool, and it's because it's like yeah. it's a movie, you know? Yeah. This yeah. game was made because someone had a story, and they made that. I actually, I had that thought about midway through. I was like, fuck, this would be a cool movie. This is actually like if someone like a, it's super cheap to film. It's one dude in the fucking wilderness with a GoPro on with his forehead. This. Yeah, you know, I mean, you probably you, and you have to see me. I know, that. guys. And I we'll, was joking. When we, when we cast you as that guy, we'll, we'll make it work. But um, I liked that. And that's actually probably part of the reason why it's so easy for us to have this discussion, because it's not a 60 hour story. Sure. Of course. It's not like 15 stories in one like Metal Gear is. Well, actually, I don't know if you can categorize Metal Gear in any way, shape or form with you know, any logic whatsoever, but it was a three hour basically film that we could all walk out to. And we're having that discussion that I fucking love having, yeah. which is we all walked out of the theater. We haven't talked to each other. I have no idea what you guys thought about it. I fucking loved it. And I'm hoping you did too. And Oh shit, Colin didn't like it. Now we're going to have that discussion about why, but I feel like that. I felt like it was a really good, for me, it's my perfect experience with the game. Three to four hours, really good emotional depth, good acting, and at least the attempt to tell something different sure. in some different way. You know, where I'm not running away f and with quick time events. You didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was immersed in the world, and I really genuinely gave a shit about the character up until about, you know, two and a half hours in. Three hours <laughs> in. And I was like, fuck, all right, well. All this right. guy sucks. Let's just get to the let's get to the chopper, as Arnold Schwarzenegger once said. <laughs> get to the chopper. Ladies and gentlemen, those are our thoughts on Firewatch. But let us know yours in the comments below. Make sure you share this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Be cool. Like video games. Support them. Follow Kevin on Twitter. You want, you want some followers? He doesn't want you to follow him on Twitter. He changed his mind. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. Say it, Nick. Are the buttons on your shirt <laughs> malfunctioning? What's happening? What's Don't happening make with him that feel bad. Button? Don't make him feel bad. No, he's going straight into, like, straight into Rico Suave land right now. And I'm just too attracted to you right now. You got you to gotta put the chest away. It's as like, smooth as a seal. I feel like right now, if you... He, is so deep. He's like he's like mid Incredible Hulk transformation. <laughs> <laughs>